Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. It's so cool to be here. Uh, it's it's cool to have you. You have you have my old gig. I do. I, I do have your old gig. I was a correspondent on the Daily Show for many many years. Yes, I've watched many a tape of you when trying to prepare for a job. Uh, before that, before I just want to say I I did a show. I did a stand-up show in Boston about two years ago. Yes. And uh, after the show, someone came up to me and said, uh, "Your stand-up was okay, but I want you to give this to Stephen Colbert if you ever see him, because apparently on the Colbert Report, you used to give this out. Uh, these are wrist strong." Uh, silicon wristbands, and uh, at the time you broke your wrist, and you told him to give it to someone more famous than him, and so he gave it to me, Brian. Shout out, Brian! And he <laughs> gave it to me, specifically telling me to give it to you. Oh. And I'm giving it to you, and I hope you can one day give it to Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. Sure. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Has has one ever come back to you? No, I don't think I've ever gotten one back before. Oh, not not from like because it was the whole thing was to give it to the most famous person that person met yeah. to go up the chain of famousness because I wanted this to end up on the wrists of famous people. Yeah. I'm going to attach this to a pair of handcuffs and give it to the president. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Allegedly. Allegedly. You lived, you, lived in, you lived in Malaysia, you lived in, in New Hampshire, you lived in Singapore, then Melbourne, but, but three years ago you moved back to America. How do you feel about your timing of, of when to return? Yeah, so to the United um, I've been trying to come back to America for a long time. Uh, three years ago I got to come back to America to uh, get, take the job on a daily show. And I thought, September 2015, I thought I got here just in time for that last bit of Obama's America. Sure. Uh, and instead, I got here just in time for that, uh, for Donald Trump's America. And that's like buying tickets to Beyonce, and instead, it's Donald Trump. <laughs> True. And True. I really wish yeah. uh, he would just hurry up and end the country already, because all this will he, won't he, I mean, no, did you, did do you, it. Did you grow up here? I know you're bo you said you were born in Malaysia? Uh, yeah, so I'm bo born in Malaysia, and yeah. my, my parents came here uh, after I was born, when I was three years old, my parents moved to America to attend college mm -hmm. uh, because they went to college very late in life mm -hmm. and they were good immigrants because after college they left. Uh, and they went, they went back to, we went back to Singapore and we were there for 10 years and I went to Australia uh, for law school. I was there, I was in Australia for 10 years and then I moved back here three years ago. So, well, it's been you're, a long way around. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're, did you go, did you go, you know, uh, west the end of higher way till you came back to the yeah. United States? <laughs> yeah, but I kept moving west. It's a one-way ticket. I kept moving west uh, like Columbus and I kept trying to come back to America, yeah. <laughs> you're in like one of the movie events of the summer, Crazy Rich yes, Asians yes, is, Asians. everybody, it's got a yeah. hundred, yeah. I think a very popular book. I think it, right now it has a hundred is a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes right yes, now. Yes. Yes. So why now this a, a lot has been made about the fact this is is an all Asian cast. What does that mean to you as an Asian performer? Well, look, Crazy Rich Asians, the movie, um, uh, is a real honor to be part of telling a story of the more underrepresented in Hollywood today. And of course, I'm talking about rich people. Yes, we need more rich people movies. I'm sick and tired of these token rich people showing up occasionally in a Marvel movie. Look, rich people, we're more than just stereotypes, okay? We're not just supervillains and superheroes. Tony Stark and Marvel, that's like one. When's the last rich person movie? When was the last time we had a movie for ourselves? The top 1%, what was that? Um, Wolf of Wall Street? That was like two years ago, okay? More rich people movies, 50 please. Fifty Shades Freed? That was, that was covered by... It wasn't just about rich people. They had some other stuff in there, too. I'm talking about just pure, pure yeah. rich they wealth. They did. Yeah. They did. Um, you, also, you also have your own special now called Ronnie Chang International Student. Yeah, what is yeah. that? Uh, it, that's a sitcom um, that is going to be on Comedy Central on August 13th. Uh, it's a sitcom I wrote with my co-creator, Declan Fay, and uh, directed by Jonathan Burrow. Uh, and we wrote it in Australia. It's a, it's a sitcom about uh, Asian international students studying in Australian universities. So very relatable to Americans. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah. Well, um, say hi to everybody over at The Daily Show for me. Oh, we'll do, yeah, absolutely. Nice absolutely. to see you. Yeah, yeah, thanks so nice to meet you. you. Ronnie Chang, international student, is available Monday on the Comedy Central app. Ronnie Chang, everybody. We'll be right back.